really bad depression. I was in my apartment and I get a phone call. My mother, she says, um, come downstairs, you got a fax. And that fax was from Alexa Fogel. It was the role of Omar, the breakdown. I went in and I read one time for that character. She sent the tapes in to David Simon and Nina Noble and Ed Byrne. Next thing I knew, I was being called to report to Baltimore um, for work. During the process of, of making the why, I was so excited. You know, I was just so happy to have a job. I felt like my dreams were coming true. And I was really excited to be amongst what I considered greatness. Uh, Wendell Pierce, Sonya Song, Wood, Wood Harris. Like, they was already doing it, you know. Um, you know, J.D. Williams, these are people I, I was just watching on television. So I was happy. And then we had season one in the can. And I just knew that this was a black thing. Like, you know, we made it. We got a good black TV show. And we coming back next year. And then here come David Simon with his beautiful, crazy, twisted mind. And he threw us into um, season two. And I remember going to him saying, you know, so, so why is it that every time black people make something hot, you take it and then you're going to turn this into a white show? What, what's, what's up with that? And he looked at me and he chuckled and he says, you know what, Michael? He said, if we went right back to the projects and to the, to the corners in season two, he said, it would make your world seem extremely small. He said, trust me, I got, I got you. And then we now know season three and four, five came and he tied this whole world in. But it was in season three when I started to realize that, oh, this is not about me. This is not, it's not about my career, how much screen time I thought I should have gotten, or you know, what I thought the world should do, how I thought the show should go. It had nothing to do with me. And in fact, it had everything to do with it. I was just a small part of something great, this great tapestry, this great narrative of social issues that is wrong things that are wrong in our country, not just in the black community, just not just the Baltimore story. This is going on in every hood, in every city, in every state around these United States. And The Wire was a love letter to our nation, like a blueprint to show where we're broken in hopes of fixing what is wrong. You know, I started looking at the way people, and particularly in my community, would come and it wasn't just oh, that TV show was fly, or you on that dope TV show. It was like, thank you. Hey, yo. How many guns do you have? 